Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, welcome to another, well, I could say, live cast. Uh, yours, Lennox Smith, of course. And as I said, um, what you can do is share, share, because uh, this morning's um, podcast, so this morning's live cast, will be one relating to, of course, uh, the, the albatross called the PNM. And of course, uh, the fact of the matter is uh, that Lavantil's development resides in the purview of Lavantilians. Lavantil uh, has been neglected, it has been abused, it has been ridiculed, um, it has been assigned the unacceptable stigma of being the crime capital of the country and a place to always avoid whether it is within the country persons within the country or in the rest of the pop as far as the rest of the population is concerned and of course when we talk about our international advisories against Trinidad and Tobago Lavantel is the place that no tourists or no person from a foreign country whether it's North America South America uh, Europe Asia etc Lavantel is a place that none of them must go but I want to quickly um, demonstrate to you the development perspective developed by the community itself. I think it is a critical uh, thing to understand and um, off the cuff, I, I think we should be looking at that because many, many years ago, uh, we're talking about uh, 20, 2005 coming forward, uh, development programs of, a diff of different types. And of course, there's a macro program and then of course you have uh, the micro program program looking at modules for development within specific communities of Lavantel and whether we talk about Belmont or we talk about Nelson Street and environs or we talk about Beetham we talk about and then we have gone further to also look at taking those models but of course you need to the specific community and model developmental initiatives by the people, of the people, for the people, from within these communities, and of course, communities similar to that of Lavantel, whether it be Maloney, whether it be La Hoketa, with the hope, of course, that uh, these models can be transplanted all across the country as a success model for development by the people again of the people and for the people i want to be quick on on this by going through the different modules and the different developmental initiatives that has happened and has been taken over the years by labentilians but of course you know successive pnm administrations would ignore this because of because the people have taken charge of your responsible. So the first thing that Lavadin must do is change its political perspective. And any opposition, any opposition at all, but in this case, of course, there's no choice but the the UNC having regarded to the acceptability of Kamala Prasad Bissessa and of course the UNC as a party that is certain not only to rival and has been rivaling the PNM, but is the alternative to the PNM as well because with all the politics, the quality of life that you pursue, the quality of the air that you breathe, the kind of cars that you drive, the kind of furniture you have in your in your house or office for that matter, the kind of infrastructure that you get, the kind of amenities that you get, the quality of the electricity supply, etc., water and so on, um, drainage, and of course how you respond to flooding, etc., all of these realities of life depends on politics. I, politics, politics causes you to breathe the kind of air that you breathe. Of course, barren nature's of overwhelming uh, capacity to, of course, study the 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 best plans of of man. For example, Sahara dust is now visible. But I just want to uh, just run through these documents quickly. Um, this first one is the Lavantil for Lavantilians. Just make sure I get into the picture. Lavantil for Lavantilians transformation program. 
development program, of course, and the main document and cost estimates budget sub separated, of course. Theme, own a piece of Trinbago. The theme of this document is own a piece of Trinbago. And of course, using the empowerment zone concept. Using the empowerment zone concept. Empowerment zone is very simple. It is a, is, is a concept developed by myself and uh, Dr. Gatti James of Trinbagoian in, in New York when I visited there um, in 19... In 98 99 looking at models to transplant back into Trinidad and therefore we came up with this idea and I was supposed to of course come back I you know Smith supposed to come back and of course implement but of course I did not get the support of the administration and by that time you had intervening clearly UNC governments that created a further stall because they didn't have time to look at this model, uh, not believing that Laventil could come up with its own initiative. But apart from that, let's face it, uh, the politics was such that Laventil did, did not attract the attention of the UNC in, in the way that we would have, wise in government, simply because we were steadfast and not giving them the let's say, the encouragement, the motivation to get inside of Laventil and deal with issues such as these. On this occasion, come the 10th of August, I am certain that Laventil, at least one of the Laventils, and I, I, I sincerely, sincerely believe that it will be Laventil East Mover that will be in the arms of the, or in the bosom of the UNC, and therefore delivery of these various initiatives will become a reality. Um, having looked at it for many, 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 many years. Of course, let me go through quickly. Um, in this doc, in this document, you have a lot of graphs. Lots of graphs, you see, lots of graphs. Uh, the for the develop development plan. Lots of graphs. Uh, we have, of course, the basic the basic needs and issues. We we covered that in brief some some time ago. Um, and we're looking at land, at land and property. We're looking at, of course, improvement to do in existing. Homes will be looking at the improvement uh, of existing in infrastructure, and we can go on and on. Employment, it look at look at education and training. It look at um, recreation. It looks at uh, at uh, at uh, the establishment of uh, bursary and scholarship programs supported by the state and private sector. So quite a number of issues across the social and economic spectrum, including, of course, this, the, the, cycle, the, the, the cycle and um, infrastructural ones as well. And, of course, this is a, another uh, present, presentation of the issues that concerns Laventil here. And, of course, it says a strategy for transforming Laventil, strategies for transforming Laventil. There is it. And as I said, uh, quite, a, quite a beautiful presentation uh, that can match any other in the country in terms of uh, developmental initiative and modules, as I said, specific to each community, and some of which can be transplanted or used as a platform or basis to develop other communities. Uh, both within Laventil and outside of Laventil. And of course, in this case, you have um, pri priority issues to be addressed uh, and, forced, and, and forced, of course, uh, establish the central, a central administration center, um, a deed, deed provision for HGC homes, um, people's, the, 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 the People's Mall, the reconstruction of the People's Mall, um, Rock City replication, that is a, a, a special project that Mr. Manning in, introduced by utilizing an all-government approach, and we thought that would have been something that would be applicable to other parts of Laventon. So this is, um, and we can go right down to create um, uh, initiative that is provided by um, the the present the present. Uh, uh, um, situation with respect of course to uh, reconciling the reconciliation that uh, occurs by uh, provided by the ministry of social development where the people come there and they sort of resolve their issues and so on something sim similar to that i have to move on of course I'm, i this is the main the main document some 50 52 pages 
52 pages and of course it has all kinds all of the issues that any community such as Glaventon would want would want to reason of course this has come as a consequence of many 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 years of research and development so I just want to raise the issue with respect to with respect to um, the, the empowerment zone and and all of the issues that I raised earlier we have a number of graphs to represent what we are looking at and what we are looking for we have all of that as well contained documented 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 and that is what we we want people don't believe that Blamington has that capacity but we can develop ourselves by virtue of our collective ability to treat with them with the various matters that is another document another document very important one is the data that we have collected in order to give uh, credence or to or to condense in such a way so as to make actual programs and projects a reality uh, but of course you must first document it and this is what has happened uh, this particular document is called the Laventil human development indicators uh, social, economic, and cultural data and analysis information, and of course, it goes across the social spectrum. Um, it talks about it talks about the number of prof property for sale in Lavington. We talk, it talks about the property owners who prefer to sell and leave the area. It, it talks about the number of professionals uh, residing. Professionals, lawyers, doctors, etc., residing in the area. All this. Uh, all this. Data um, is is here, and of course, I might go down to the to the last one: youth gravitation to crime data. All of that is contained in in, in the research, the results of the research that was done over the years. So again, it's not that Lamontel has been sitting. The thing is that you have a situation where you have a party that has been in government for over nearly 50 years and have not uh, taken cognizant or notice of these um, very important developments from within the bowels of the community simply because those persons who uh, are that sensitive have, have, have been targeted and victimized, myself included, when of course these kinds of positive developments are, take, are taking place. So um, that is the reality. You, you'll excuse me, um, let me just um, get some, what I consider to be wiping material because I mean, I was hustling this morning and I have to go to, of course, the ground report program that starts at 6. And we are in Tonopuna this morning, the ground report, and therefore I thought I should have a podcast before to just run through quickly these, these documents. Again, uh, here it is, we have uh, a graph for representation of a number of social, of social issues. In this one, for example, a survey of new trends, um, emerging motivational phenomena responsible for um, heinous crimes and criminal conduct. And this was conducted what uh, between November 10th and May May and no, no November 2010 to May 2011. So quite a number of documents that um, we have been in, engaged in. Let me let me just get some wiping materials. I'm a sweat, I'm sweating a little bit, so let me just get that and return shortly. Yes, indeed, my apology, but this is all in one day's work. <laughs> but uh, really going to uh, to the ground report, um, which should be should leave here in the next uh, fifteen minutes or so. So let me just quickly. All right, another document. We it, it is talking about Laventil Development Plan uh, again with with a theme. Together, let us take back our community a working document so this is a working document uh, again with several rubrics or several headings 
or subheadings, if you want to call it that, where, of course, Love until Lens saw the problem and decided to do something about it and document it. And therefore, in this case, in the table of contents, for example, we have a situation where a pre proposal analysis, of course, of social and welfare delivery assistance support. Uh, we are looking at um, pensions, we are looking at um, squatter regularization. Uh, we are looking in this particular document, we are looking at removal of NIS. Um, deduction from URP wages because that's the reality of of the place as we move to sustainable development and sustainable work and and, and employment and and so on you you still you still have to depend on programs makeshift programs such as URP and so on and therefore we are saying that NIS and this kind of thing must be must be avoided so that the little five hundred dollars you're getting must not be subjected of course to that kind of um, uh, taxation. I think um, they have since. I, I think currently, because this was this is a very old document. Um, you're talking about 2005. So um, there might have been some adjustments that might have been made in the interim. So don't hold us. do hold me to it. Um, but the fact is that I'm saying that we're talking about agriculture, economic and employment generation, we're talking about contracts, we're talking about um, computerized employment bureau, very, very significant because we have a, quite a, a number of persons who don't know where to go, go and get a job. But if you have a bureau that, of course, matches employment opportunities with those who are, who are unemployed or who have been fired or who are entering employment because of age and uh, having just left school and don't want to and is not engaging of course in tertiary or other um, academic pursuits of course this is where this bureau comes in of course sports and youth development crime um, prison again of course um, cottage in cottage industry um, enhancement and the development all of that business we are looking at and again and the content of the document here is it again um, this is about this one is about 23 pages and of course the conclusion says let me just read the first paragraph in conclusion um, the executive council of of Laventil fields the so the executive council was part of it in terms of um, the elderly people uh, so let's say senior senior Laventilians uh, was had the input in this doc in this document and developing uh, the model for development of Laventil on a sustainable basis. So it says, um, so the Council of Laventil feels that the um, justification can, um, outlined above uh, provides an uh, irrefutable argument for investment in Laventil and environs at this time. Uh, the academic and uh, practical analysis uh, preferred uh, cannot be refuted. The government has therefore been provided provided with the the ammunition uh, to justify all actions towards delivery on this uh, budget. It is it is for the first time that a comprehensive presentation of this nature uh, has been prepared by any organization for for of and on behalf of Laventil and environs uh, com community this by itself demonstrates our commitment and seriousness so the first paragraph of the conclusion of the document calls the Laventil development plan um, the motto is a vision for the future and again together let us take back our community a working document. So we have a working document as well. Uh, incidentally all of this was sent to Dr. Rowley um, so his bleed heart um, statements about report. So, so all of these documents feed into the main documents that we that I presented to you earlier in order to come up with a sustainable plan. So you Dr. Sorry about that. The Dr. Oli cannot say that the African community have not has not been looking at themselves and developing initiatives to treat with the issues of youth of those persons who are adult, those persons who are engaged in criminal activities or potential there too, and looking for solutions that will make them be contributing um, productive citizens. And here we go. So this is another report coming out from the ad hoc committee for the eradication of crime in Lavatil. Again, looking at all aspects of crime and it says here, this is a, normally it's an annual event, a two days, workshop, seminar, and of course, um, and of course we would use several venues in order to 
um, treatment. It says st strategies for the eradication of crime in Laventil and environs. And look, look, look at it. Look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, inputs from all across the Laventil spectrum, all across the Laventil. I consider it to be diaspora, if you want to call that, but from a microcosm perspective. All of that was done. All, 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 all of it. Look, 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 look at this, look at this graph here. I think, think, thinking and, and, and choices. We looked at oh, um, the transformation of the, of the mind as well. Uh, how do you generate a mind that would be productive and contributing to its, itself, um, the, the family, the, the neighborhood, the com and the community, and by extension, the nation. And even the methodology of thinking and the, for the transformation process, we have also examined and documented. So thinking and choices, public speaking, right? a vital leadership skill. We looked at that. We looked at uh, for the articulation of issues, nego um, ne negation and project, negotiation and project management. All of that is part of it. And of course, and we can go talk about collective, 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 as well as individual choices. The choices you make, that is what we are talking about here. As individuals, we regret choices that we make that may be bad, and so, and so people end up in prison, they end up vagrants, they end up um, dis dispossessed, they end up displaced as well. And the choices include, of course, your political choice. And the choice that we have made politically over the years have not benefited the Laventil community over the years, and therefore we must now do what is right in, in our own best interest. Having regard to the, to the establishment of these kinds of analysis and data collection and of course at the end of it all for the benefit of our young people in particular and the community in general. So these, this is another document from the Ad Hoc Committee for the Eradication of Crime in Laverdale uh, that has an annual seminar workshop on crime and, 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 and the, the nuances, the new developments. It was, it was I at a presentation um, organized by the Ministry of National Security to address the National Security Council in 2009. Organized, of course, uh, by, the, by the, the, then, the then Minister of National Security, Mr. Martin Joseph. And this was presented, in fact, for the first time they knew that in, in Never Dirty Mover, for example, um, young people were, or gangsters were invading people's home, commandeering it, meaning taking it over, and people had to, to run out of their own homes. And we are seeing that revisited today um, in St. Paul Street in, in, in East Portsmouth. That is something that was I presented to the National Security Council back then. And here it is, it has raised its head in right in, right in East Port of Spain, in the, uh, those apartment buildings at St. Paul Street. And of course, we preferred solutions as well. Uh, so, so, so it is very difficult for me to, to, to accept that governments, the government, Dr. Rowley's PNM does not know what the problems are unless they don't take time to read those documents that have been sent to them, Dr. Rowley in particular, in order to treat with it. So on Emancipation Day, Dr. Rowley has no excuse to say, listen, he didn't know. What we, what we want is not to look at the problem with that recovery committee that he has formed. What we need to look at is implementation, implementation. And this one, of course, is uh, we, we have a broad team called Possibility and Possibility Observatory, Bad Street and Environs. Everybody knows that you're not supposed to go there if you're an outsider because of the crime and, crim and criminal criminality that takes place in that, in that area. But the people have to solve the problem and therefore uh, the project proposal and the project proposal for Bath Street and Observatory Street is quite comprehensive indeed because we recognize that, listen, there are a number of institutions right in that com community, whether it be AGC, whether it be the General Hospital, whether it be uh, gas stations, whether it be um, churches, etc. And each one of them can play their part in terms of um, bringing some uh, relief 
overall to the to the community and by extension um, halt the production of young persons who may gravitate to a life of crime. All of these things we did a five a five prong approach, for example, um, component. I just read I just read this quickly. What is that in the case of observatory three and the the, the fundamental achievable goals of the of the project program are as follows one a social intervention facilitation business development and employment generation uh, we have um, training and education opportunities uh, the mlio model that is of course the organization that i i founded and and has been and has trained over six thousand young persons of the type that we are concerned about today um, we have, of course, finally, num number five, uh, community camaraderie and interaction uh, for empowerment, uh, self-development and self-determination uh, for, for sociological uh, realignment and destigmatization. And this is, we did it, we did it. This is for Bath Street alone and Observatory Street. We did it. Possibility, possibility, obs observatory dash bad street and environs we did it we have it we have the development plan for ourselves dr Rowley. you don't need to reinvent the wheel and of course uh, quickly moving on we have possibility here let me just open up this one so you see clearly what i'm talking about this is serious business we the lavender community has not been joking those of us who are conscientious and, and, and they will get the impression from the national community and those who are supposed to know better and uh, be in charge of our business that we are, we are, we are jokers and we don't want um, to solve our problem. Look, this one, possibility in Nelson, Nelson Street. Uh, and of course, you will see the young men and them who were part and parcel of the contribution, the inputs of this particular document. I cannot give you the de details except to say that, of course, um, Except to say that it came out as a consequence of the of the SOE in 2011, and again, uh, it demonstrates all all of the issues in graph form, whether it be social social intervention, um, sporting and cultural activities, um, churches churches groups institutions um, bring all stakeholders and movers of on board um, community. Personalities, uh, taxi, taxi drivers, shop shopkeepers, uh, pan the, the pan pan leaders, etc. All of these, all of these, are prepared. This one I think is about twenty something pages, right? Specific for the community of Nelson's Nelson Street and environs. Again, if this was implemented long time ago, it means that therefore we would not have had much of that problem that we are having now in. East Port of Spain, yes, uh, uh, under understand that right transformation, transform possibility. Nelson Street, the document is here, is implementation, Doctor Rowley. Implementation, you cannot come now with no bleed heart, um, ignorance, pleading of ignorance on Emancipation Day. Well, you're going to make a serious announcement. We we know that, but it's only. An attempt, of course, to ingratiate yourself and to salvage the embarrassment, the complete and total embarrassment that um, the COVID measures and those measures that prior to, to COVID that created poor people to be in a in a in a maelstrom in a disastrous situation where they have become even poorer as a consequence of that and your measures have not worked you could talk how much you want all over the all over the place the consequence of or the 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 motivation for the re, for the resistance and the rebellion of the east west corridor community is as a consequence of your poor covid measures execution beautiful on paper beautiful in talk but in terms of execution 
this is what you want. You want you want to execute. So therefore, that recovery committee is a waste of time, and it will only produce more documents like these. And they will have to come to people like me in order to treat with those with those matters, whether it be Nelson Street, whether it be Duncan Street, whether it be East Port of Spain, whether it be uh, Lavantilla's General, whether it be Beatham, whether it be Sealots, whether it be Maloney, whether it be La Hoqueta, etc. Persons like myself, you will have to come to to talk. There is no need to talk. There are modules. This one is a comprehensive proposal for be the Beatum community. This one, it's here. Eh? Shilma Wilson, maybe you could talk with her because this was produced partially in discussion with her in her home in the Beatum. So if you don't want Lennox Smith because I am too independent of thought and will tell you as it is, uh, then seek your own people. Talk to Talk to Julia Davy and let us get the implementation processes going. <clears throat> and we're out of time now, so I have to I have to speed up. So this one is for Bethon. A, 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 a module, implementation module named comprehensive project proposal for Beatum community. The community knows the problem and the community has put pen to paper and produced these documents. Understand that and and Beatum Beatum because of the landfill because of the of the businesses that skirts um, the northern side of the priority bus route can if a focus is made and an intervention by the state even if it's just to cajole if it is just to um, say that you are part you are part of a lot of employment could be generated permanent employment so that the problems there uh, can be uh, once and for all to totally solved why it is that people from outside must um, occupy the employment spaces of these um, bi businesses when one can just walk to work because they are in close proximity to the Beatum community itself. You have Wasa lines running below uh, um, Beatum in in the earth, of course, in in the ground, but going towards the waste, the wastewater or the treat or the treatment plant across on the southern side of the Beatum. But from time to time, it, 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 it overflows. And therefore, you can have a team of persons monitoring that so that you don't generate any disease and all that kind of thing. All of that is in these documents. <coughs> the, the, the flooding that, that takes place on the, east, on the eastern main road, for example. We, in, this, in this document, there, are, there, are, there, there is a proposal for development of traps on the northern side of the priority of the 12 drains, main drains and that traverse moving from north to south across the Beatum. There's a proposal here for traps. Why? Because a lot of debris come from, from whether it be plastics, whether it be um, earth from the, from the hills as the rain comes and washes on, so that you can empty that, you can use that in order to generate again employment, but at the same time look at the, the environmental, um, positive the environmental consequences of such an an initiative quite a lot of them this is for the b thumb dr Rowley, we have the documents we have done the research all you need to do is to implement let me google let me carry you to another one. This one is for the Beatum Gardens. We have for La Hoketa, we have for Maloney. On the next occasion, maybe I'll just run them through quickly. But let me just say that this one is in respect of proposal uh, annual inter-community beauty pageant and sports program. Again, to bring the community together, the community of Beatum, to bring it together. We understand that the strategic location of the Beatum and the disruption that can be caused if they are, if for whatever reason they become angry and they can block the Beatum Highway, they can block the Eastern Main Road, they can block the priority bus route. And that has happened in the past. Nobody Anybody who is a Trinbegonian would know of the disruption and the panic that that creates when these community, the, the community of Beatham, decides, of course, to um, take action that would be disruptive to the, to commerce, uh, to people going to their ordinary work workplace, or even going for um, medical treatment, etc. 
because they, they won't announce to you when it's going to happen. They just do it for maximum effect and attention to their problems. Dr. Robley wasn't beaten. He said it's a special place with special problems and needs special solutions. How come these solutions are not there when you have documents? Documents from the community indicating how these problems can be solved. They are there. Dr. Rowley has a copy and therefore he cannot say some 300 pages of initiatives that uh, that was condensed into that particular document, a compendium, you could say, right? Look look at this case for a list of, list of events, for example, uh, um, you're going to have beauty pageant, the first, first prize, second prize, and so on, and we can go on and on. This is specifically to bring the camaraderie and avoid the, the borderline issue and the gang wars that uh, would usually plague these communities. Understand that. And this is where, where it is. We even had, um, as a consequence of this particular presentation and document to uh, Mr. Manning, he has he he provided a, a prime ministerial trophy for the overall winner of the five phase competition that Beatum is comprised of. You have all of that inside of there. Again, this document is a proposal annual inter community beauty pageant and sports program on the Beatum. Understand that, and we have two other documents uh, that I would like to share with you, but I run off uh, of time. But certainly on the next occasion, I will certainly share it, share it with you where where Maloney is concerned and where Lahokata is concerned. We have them. Whether it's education, whether it's sports, whether it's youth development, whether it's crime, whether it is um, employment opportunities, and how do you generate employment, sustainable employment, and put bread and bread and butter on people's table by the community of the community and for the community. Uh, please share this this live, share it. Of course, um, you can ask your people or people who you believe would be interested in knowing what transpired here today. You can, of course, um, look for Alfred John on face, Facebook, of course, and uh, then you would see all of the previous as well as this current one. So, Thank you very much for your uh, time and attention and share, share, share because this is crucial and you have a duty, Laventil, on the 10th of August to firstly change your political stance if you really want to redeem yourself and to have these documents implemented because I want to tell you as well that this has been sent to Kamala Prasad Bissessa and I can tell you uh, she is a man, she is a woman of her word and uh, therefore will make certain that, that these projects are implemented both in the micro sense and in the macro sense. So, um, Dr. Rory has a copy. I gave him one in the beginning of his term in 2015. I gave him one just about last month after, of course, uh, that upheaval on, on June 30th. I gave him one as well and no response, obviously. So, therefore, it, it's not a matter of whether or not we have projects to, to, to propose but it's a matter of who, and therefore, because I have told him in no uncertain terms who I think he is, um, uh, he, uh, of course, may be holding some, some sort of grudge for a reality that he has not been able to respond because of my own stance on moral and ethical grounds. So, so when they come to you, you accommodate them, yes, in Laventil, but at the same time, yeah, you listen to them, but you know your experience has been that of total pain, ache, and therefore the hogwash that they will spew and say, for example, Heinz I see on the beat I'm talking about, he has been, the PNM has been with us from 56 and 60 and 70 and 80 and 90 and 20. The fact of the matter is that you, it's not you with us, it's we have put you there and therefore it's what you have returned to us in exchange for the entire treasury of the country and you have delivered poorly, you have delivered sparsely, you have de delivered in such a way that the morass and the, and the dereliction or the derelict situation that Beatum and uh, East Port of Spain, Laventil and so on is now experiencing, including Mover, I mean it is atrocious. Uh, once again, look for your UNC, your, your UNC 
um, candidate, look for, of course, the UNC symbol, and you vote solidly in your own best interest. Because once we are at the dinner table, we will be able to get the nourishment that we want. If we are not, and we again get fooled or be fooled or cause ourselves to be fooled by the PNM, uh, certainly you're going to get the bread that the devil needs. I say no. Thank you very much. And again, share.